Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael the Ark here. If you're just joining us for this archive, thank you very, very much. And let's go on and get into the game. All right. So, yeah, I, I've got my stuff a little bit different now because I've got a towel in the floor over top of uh, the tea. So... <laughs> I cleaned up all the tea I could, but it would have still been wet, and I didn't want to put my pillow on top of that, so uh, I put a towel over it instead. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this. So I changed my mind. Champion, if you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. You should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the west. Some settled into a camp southwest of here. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Getting rid of those outposts hey, might stop the... So, instead of doing the main quest right now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to work on quest that I, I see here, whatever I happen to see. Um, I don't want to do any of the challenges, but I will do some of these. Uh, we're at level 28, and I have 17 skill points. Collectibles... Um, okay, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that one later. So, Okay. Maybe I can lend the marshals a hand. Uh, it looks like we got to go up here. I think I'm going to try to just go up my mountain area here, and then we'll run that way. Because I believe there are some handholds. <laughs> Miss CG, what you been up to today? Yeah, I, my ear still hurts where this tooth bothers me. It's right here, but it makes this whole jaw really sore. And it has just been a nightmare. Anytime I wear a headset, it makes my ear swell up. What color did you get, bad? You know, if you order a, a standard one, you can open up the shell and just trade the shell. Uh, I have actually recently thought about trading my orange and purple shell for the seafoam green shell I have over there on my PS4 controller, but oh well. Um... You're not speeding. What are you talking about? What is 74? These are level 20s. Let's... Gemini overrides. They are... 
Is that a Quetzalcoatl or is that a a Pteranodon? That's kind of a that's a Pteranodon. Oh, uh, the red one, the cosmic red one, was not that. It was sixty five. I think while the white one was 60. Okay. Wait a minute. Weak. Have they went up in price? Our Walmart, the last time I looked, still had them for the same price, bad. I would never, ever order one from Amazon. You order them from Amazon, and you will get fake controllers sent to you. You'll get counterfeit ones. That's why I do not ever, ever order one from Amazon. I know way too many people who ordered them from Amazon and got counterfeit ones. They look just like them, except for maybe a detail here or there is different that you're not supposed to notice oh my gosh uh but yeah they they don't work right somebody actually i i don't remember who it was but somebody had me work on one of their ps4 controllers to clean it and it was a counterfeit one maybe that's why your your controllers are breaking so fast Don't be so rough on them. I, I fully believe that they know for a fact that it's doing that and they don't care. I think they are purposely engineering them to fail. They're being like damn Apple, engineering shit to fail. That pisses me off. Shotgun is not much use against that.
mountain. The southern place is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. What the hell? I was blocked. Where the heck did they go? What the heck? It just... It literally just told me to come down here. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Yeah. We're close to the top of it. I don't know what trophy that is. Bad. Can you tell me if there is a guide that tells you how to not miss the one missable trophy? Like, it tells you where all of the scans are that you have to get for the the machines. This mountain is tall. The machine can tough out the cold. Glass won't help. Okay. Does it have story spoilers? Make sure that you let me know if it does. Looks like I have company.
Okay. Using false magic. Why does it do that? Whoa. I clearly press the button to do the silent strike. Still need to climb higher. And that little so and so ate the the purple that fell. Oh, butt hit. Is that him? Where the heck did he go? All right, he's up at the very top. All right. So, Bad, can you explain to me what this glide trophy is? Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? Glide for a minute a straight. To pick up Silga's message. That shouldn't be too hard.
All right, Dave. <laughs> Signal's getting stronger. My focus almost has where it's coming from. Time to pay that Tanox Tower a visit. Okay. Bet I'll get a nice view if I glide down from here. There's actually another place that is much taller than this. Uh, it's at the start of the game, but you have to have the quest. Hey, it's Gotalo. If you're in need of provisions, I recommend stopping by Salt Bite, a village north of the Grove. Their cook's meals give a soldier strength like nothing else. And who knows? Maybe they could use your help, too. Maybe I'll check it out. Thanks. I don't think I'll, oh, there it is. Completed a long glide. Thank you, bad. I used not to do that. I would say, you know how Mortal Kombat does. I would do that, and I had people actually come in, and they're like, you should totally do that with Trophy when you get one. That's why I started doing that. And by the way, if you didn't get the reference, there is a show storage wars and there was a guy on there named dave and instead of saying you know raising his hand when he was bidding or something he would go yup and he was so annoying and i cannot stand hearing somebody say yup now if i'm not mistaken he was actually arrested and banned for the show from the show <laughs> Oh, you know. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Y'all give me a second. that hickory oh okay the machine riders from before the ones who were racing. I wonder what they're up to. I won the race. Pay up. You threw a rock in my face. It's not like you can get any uglier. You threw a rock in my... Oh my gosh, they're playing Mario Kart. Hey, who are you? Everyone. We got company. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad. We got someone with a death wish here. Whoa. Look at that hair. What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? 
Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Cool your blaze, Josek. Don't think you want to test your luck with Hikaru's new champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. Road's right over there. Those machines used to be Regala's. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount. Okay. I'm not interested in racing right now. Uh, I do want to go. You know what? I'm going to have to to walk there anyway. Oh, you mean a mount oh, like so? That's a ravager. Frost won't help here. Machine was born for the cold. And I. Can you ride ravagers bad? all these machines for you can only ride three machines bristlebacks the rebel ravager oh okay so bristlebacks uh the rams and what else well they were I don't think they were riding Ravagers, so the other thing would be the Claw Strider. If we look at the notebook... Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Give me just a second. I feel like my ear is going to itch off. What in the world? Ooh. Oh my gosh. That was not good feeling. Sorry. Whew. The inside of my left ear just felt like something was biting the shit out of me. So I've seen them ride them. I have actually, there are. The Sky Drifter or Glint Hawk 1, 
maybe the Sunwing, you're supposed to be able to, to ride one of them as well. From what I have seen, I mean, if you can't, then you can't, but. So let me find the ones that I know you can. So Claw Striders, I know you can ride. Okay, it says Mountable Machine. Mountable Machine. Oh, wow, that sucks. They should make it so you can ride them all. Yeah, okay. That sucks. Now, I had a bristleback, and it got taken from me. So the other one is the Apex Asset Bristleback, and I have scanned one of them, but it doesn't have it on there. All right, let's look at the Ravagers. Um, all right. You know what? We've got 17 skill points. I think we need to upgrade some stuff. We absolutely want that. Uh, so, oh, you, okay, I got it. You have to do certain things here. Uh, you have to do these to level three or whatever. So, basically, we're almost done with Infiltrator. Uh, that's the tree that I like the best so far anyway. Um, we did get a new outfit but I don't want to use it. Uh, I would like to use that one, or I actually really want to use that one. The Marshall one, but eh. That one is going to be the best that I can do right now. I just can't actually do anything with it. Okay. 
This has me going around this way. that shell snapper sight okay I'm safe sound like rebels maybe if i follow their tracks i can find out where they're headed i can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind i know where they're at That's another Sunwing site. First time I go through a place, I have to be safe. Y'all, I snuck through Fallout 3 the entire game like this. I never stood up almost the entire time unless I was in a fight and had been found out. But I literally played it like you would play Metal Gear Solid in a way. And it took me... Almost 500 hours to complete one playthrough. 484 hours. And I enjoyed every single second of it. That was so good. And that's how I played that entire game. And I've never played uh, it the same way again. When I've played it again, I played it completely different. the screen shine. Not tall, champion. Too bad you didn't finish off for a gallery. should help me pinpoint so this signal
Hello, Mr. Cook. How are you? Full stomach fuels the fight. Food don't do nothing for me on this game. With my play style and stuff, it doesn't do anything for me. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> She's a dyer. Um, I had thought about doing Grey Dawn, but I don't really like it, to be honest. Now that... Nightblood? Look, it's uh, Next time, it's know. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I like that one pretty good. Welcome. All right, it says, is he above me? He's above me. Oh man. Oh yeah. I like that one. I really like that one. Ooh, I love that one too. That is awesome. Let's just buy it for now. I'm going to buy this one too. Um, I might get to working on that. We'll just, uh, that there. That is awesome right there. Fourteen ninety three. That shouldn't hinder your agility. All right, let's look at our outfits then. We got that one and that one. Let's um Okay, if I can upgrade that, I want to see what colors I can make that thing.
Where is she at again? I actually like it the way it looks. It's really good looking with the red. Um by again. This is your chance. All right, this one It looks much better that way. So they actually look good the way that they are. I need to find a an upgrade bench. I want to make some smoke bombs. Return again, and we will trade. I'm going to the to join the team of all. Now this time, I must have something you need. Smoke bombs. If if you go to Las Vegas, make sure you have smoke bombs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Painter, um, fire. All right, that's where I want to go first. You should learn more about our way of turn to desert dust. Hey, stranger, are you looking to trade? Yes, ma'am. Let me see what you got. Burge Water Hunter Bow? That... So, it, Purge Water is basically ice. I... Oh, wait a minute. That's nice. The Vanguard Hunter Bow. Uh-oh. Now we talking. I could get that thing all made up. Let's see here. I'm out of jobs. Okay. <laughs> What we're going to do is go ahead and uh, buy this one. I'm, oops. Uh, I'm going to abandon the jobs. For all of them except for one. Uh, we'll abandon that one and we'll just do the job for the purge water bow. Coils and leaves. 
Oh, okay, okay. Stealth damage, that would be worth it right there to have one of those. I've got one, actually. I used to fight with one just like it. I'm grateful that your blade defended the visions. Okay. Uh, outfit upgrade. This is what we really want to go for. Um... Awesome. See, I really like that, but it's... None of them are what I need. This one is a little bit better if you were going with melee. Um... I don't know if I want the... Okay. Snap mall web sacking. Okay. I'm doing. I'm doing bad. That's about it right now. Knockdown sharp shot bow. That's not even one that I'm using anymore, though, is it? No, I'm not using it, so... I am going to uh, go with that. That's a uh, an upgrade to my current one, basically. From what I'm noticing, where green maxes out it, blue starts. Real the original one. Uh and then once you max out blue, it seems that that's about where the the base purple starts. Boy, you're missing out, man. Just trust me. You are missing out. Hey, Nameless. Uh, 
Oh. I think I've seen it. I, what I'm trying to do, bad, is actually get all of the the gear, every bit of the gear, and actually um, level it all up. I want everything at its max, and that's just what I want to do in the game. a break from this heat right. let's go over here and check something right quick so i'm using 300 bows right now the frost hunter uh the strong arm hunter bow I don't know what the difference is between those two, to be honest. But that one right there is massively better than what I have. So, hit Michael what with a mud pie. Nameless. That's just mean. That's so mean. Yay! You so mean. Oh well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Agility damage. Uh not down power. Stealth damage by 25%. I think that's what I need to go for instead of the extra tear damage. Um, we'll put the extra tear damage on there at a later time. We're going to equip that one. Y'all give me just a sec. All right. Oh, what have we picked up that... Okay. Special gear... What is it saying that we have a job for? I don't know. Anyway, I shouldn't have any extra jobs going on right now. <sighs> All 
right, that's what I want to do there. So. Restock all categories. Stash a uh, weapon. I'm going to keep that one on me. There's so much in this game that I have not used. Bad, do you not get any more upgrades for your spears? You know, in the first one, you upgraded your spears as well. And you had different spears, I believe. But in this one, you don't. Base paint. I've not unlocked anything else. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Why? I do have some. Oh well. What? Are you telling me that I have to go take my face paint off? I'm, I'm asking, are you telling me I have to go take my face paint off? Okay. Climb up to look for Silga's signal, but where to start? Mm. I don't know what the hell that was, but that shit hurt. <laughs> Just had a very sharp jab and pain in my side. Woo. So I've been thinking and replaying. I'm going to petition to join the GPR. We should look for the defense. I'd be grateful to an alpha day. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh Bad, I'm assuming that you have done this already. Are you going, Nameless? Don't leave. I found it. My mate, just doing a little climb. Well, she's gone. 
Is it five o'clock, bad? Oh, that's why. Okay. I didn't know why she was leaving, but she has to leave it at five. I thought she got mad at me. Just a little higher. All right, Aloy, you got to jump up. That's just part of life. <laughs> I'm almost there. I treat Nameless good, and she tells me that I am so mean to her and all this. I pick with her a lot, but I'm not actually mean to her. She knows that. She mean to me. No picking. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can pick up so the signal. Strap one for two to enduring victory, Reno. Supply drop beacon echo. Pull. I pray you get this safely. I left a note for you inside. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. My chair is suspiciously low for some reason. It just feels like it, it got really low all of a sudden. <laughs> I tell you, bad that ride that we went on in the country is exactly what I need. Machine strong against frost ammo. all these machines for hey it's uh Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's like certain death right there. Okay, I see where that is. Let's try to hit up that first. Leading mark. I think that we're good. Is a lanthorn. That's a new one. Now he is. He's already overridden. That guy right there is just. My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I'll need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. Great. Oh, and there's another one over there, too.
I could hurt it. So I know there's that spike snout. There's also another um, Bella back or whatever they are. something right there I hear it moving but I don't know where it's at there you are now how to get to you but I'll need to deal with these machines first See if I can pick up any movement. Yeah, there's the spikes now. There's there's another one right there. A lance horn. I'll try to get the bellow back as well, but I'm going up here first. I don't think there's another Bella back. I think it's the spike snout that I had seen. The hell was that? Could use purge water against it. Boom! Oh! Time to find my way to the signal source. Wow. <laughs> We've got a Bella back over here, and I need something from a Bella back, so I have to go hunting uh, Snap Jaws, though.
All right. Promising. Right into the water. Excuse me, it's a ship. Bad, you notice I got something. <laughs> there you are. Now, what's inside? this and she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message anything else up here I don't think I can get to them down here. I don't think you could do this before you had the breathing apparatus. Okay, so we can do another one and then turn that in, or we can just go talk to her now. Uh, let's just go over here. Actually, there's a campfire right here. Why don't we go to it? And that way we'll just unlock another one. Kind of what I'm trying to do is unlock more. That old vulture's like, wait a minute, you can fly too! What the hell is that? Whoever's in charge and take them out. So I remember in the first game, it would actually, when you would do something like that, it would actually show you, uh, hey, there's a, I don't have, it would actually show you, uh, a few. It would show like a time lapse change of stuff. And I miss that because it, I don't think it's shown me anything like that. That's a wicked looking place right there. I don't think that that's the Las Vegas place, so I think that uh, Las Vegas was in a, a completely other area. 
Slitherfang site? Oh my god, no. We have to fight more Slitherfang? Me too. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat. To send messages, near and far? Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes, people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Okay. Okay. Got you. Uh These are light arrows. These are hunter arrows. Okay. So the other thing that we have here is advanced hunter arrow. Okay. I'll go on and make some of those. How much do these cost to make? Just a little bit more, not too much more. Now, I couldn't make that before because I didn't have the extra machine muscle. I now have 88 machine muscle. What the heck? Okay. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. Let's look at our skill points. Let's go in for Hunter. And... I do kind of want... That. That would be three. 
So then we have, now that's the hunter bow. What can we do here? Triple notch. All right, how much does that need? One more. Oh, okay. So what we'll do is we're going to do the concentration boost. Um, and then we've got something for one more. If we look at warrior. I don't really care for the resonator stuff, but... Trapper, trap limit. Okay. I definitely want to do that then. I'm not as versatile as I used to be in first game. Um, in the first game, I used every single tool at my disposal to just obliterate the game. And in this one... I've stuck to the bow. I really have excelled this at just when I need it. using the bow. Okay. So we do have some other quests. Um, side quest. Blood for blood. I want to see what this place is. Bad, can you tell me what this place here is? Sorry, I got to cut my ear back home. Unfortunately, my air blowing right on me is kind of making me feel really hot, and I get to feel sick, but I'm just at, I'm fixing to go over there. I just want to know what it is. Purgewater won't do me any favors here. Looks like an awesome camp. But where is everyone? My focus might show me more. Oh no, not a Vista Point Tower. I'm here from the old world. I think I can see part of the city. Las Vegas, maybe. So that, that is Las Vegas then. I've already been there. All right, I know what I'm doing then. I'm I need to be over on this side somewhere. Of this image looks a lot like the one I picked up this Vista Point from. Maybe there's a spot nearby that overlooks it? There's the overlook spot right here. Gosh, I hate I'm these things. The the image was taken. Should be easier to look around now without those machines. Okay. 
I hate them darn burrowers. I can't go nowhere without them little so and so's just popping up. Like, hey, what's up, man? There it is. Okay. I hate these things right here, the uh, Vista points. It took me over an hour to find one of them, the last one that I'd done. I can't stand them so-and-sos. And it was so stupid because I had it like four times, probably about five or six. Hell, I probably looked at it 20 times in that one spot. I bet you it was 20 times. Okay. We got to go down this way. I didn't know what it was. That's a lot of green shine. Whoever made camp here must have found a large deposit. bad is it okay simple yes or no is it okay to go ahead and turn in a main story quest uh to gaia it's it told me she straight up said i should go do the quest for the karja lady first before turning it in does it actually make a difference though i i wouldn't think it would lock me out of it Okay. In that case, we're going to go back to the main. We're going to go back to the main one. So y'all know, after this stream, uh, I don't know if this thing is going to keep picking up or not, my capture box. Uh, sleeping or out of the house? Um, anyway, my capture box keeps doing some weird stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep getting it to work right. So, uh, it works right sometimes, and then other times it just does not work right at all. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just really weird how it does it. But, um, it took me about 10 minutes just to get it to pick up earlier. So, there's a chance that we may not be able to finish this story if we don't go on and work on it now. Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your okay. life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. You need emergency. I need to save. Have you not got your booster yet, bad?
show off. My machine strike pieces around. I'm talking about show off. Roll her back. That's why I had the the machine muscle stuff because I got it from my I can read this later. stuff there. I had used it all. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. There. Let's see what we got. Error. Drone offline. Okay. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. <sighs> okay. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning all about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene. To allow him to process this on his own terms. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality, should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved? Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Well, 
When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. Something good. Doing this for the team, Errant. Come on. Sorry. I'm not going to, uh, what I had said was I'm not going to talk to her or to anybody and just let that play through. Uh, I had muted it so I y'all wouldn't hear me typing. Nameless was sending me a message. So anyway, though, um, Where have I seen this? I'm not going to talk to the people unless it has like, unless it's Gaia and she has a big exclamation or it's going to be some sort of quest or oh, something. That door is unlocked now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here. Control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Okay. I want to explore if I can. Uh, there it is. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Wagala's activity in the region. A useful war map. Okay. All right, so I see that we have, I would say this is the warriors. This is going to be uh, Aaron's. There's nothing in these yet so i don't think that beta is sleeping here uh i still think we're gonna have two more companions but i still 
I dislike that Zoe has taken over my place and put all her crap everywhere. I mean, I don't want this mess in my floor. Look at this, this mess. I don't want that crap in my floor. Get that mess up. And then they have their love shack. They have their love shack here. And they had their love shack before Aloy was allowed to even have a darn uh, anything. I disagree with that. I highly disagree with that. We need to go find a roller back. I don't like them armadillo things. Okay. I don't think that door had power before, but it looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. One of them may be a charge station. That did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Yes, it was. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. I remember that from the first game. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. 
be met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Hey. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. She has got an attitude. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away. Alone. Hey. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. They didn't interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family who's kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis? Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. She's psycho. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. 
Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay, I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Now, I know that... This should be an elevator here, but it's not here. But we've got an energy cell here, and... What does this do? I better keep this down here. Okay. That means that we're locked now. Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. We'll open it back okay. up. I didn't tell you that you could have a room down here, Beta. That's bull. I don't trust her. I do not trust her. Bad, is there a place down here I can put this extra energy cell? Something don't set right with me about this right now. All right, so mine is the one with the piece of storage over it. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. it has been difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her, that the one called Tilda abandoned her, but I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. This is the plant storage. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. All right. How'd they do that? Uh, 
Uh, okay, the lover's room, the DNA room. <sighs> All right. Okay. So I want to go talk to Gaia again. There's got to be a reason that we have two of those. Welcome back. Hi, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. So I talked to Beta. Didn't learn much. It seems to me you did. From what she describes, the Zeniths controlled every aspect of her life, even as they shunned her. This Tilda was the first person she ever had contact with. An abrupt severance of such a relationship would be very emotionally damaging. Yeah, I guess you're right. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later then. Okay. See you later, Gaia. Until next time. All right. Pizza? Apparently, it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. The item. Or something like that. Where did I get that? Okay, it says that it's good to turn in. Data uh, let's look at skills again. Go for... Crapper. I'm just going to go on and uh, unlock both of these right quick. Okay, let's head out the other door. Where is it? Right. I just prefer going out this door because there's a there's a campfire right here, whereas if you go out the other door, there's not one.
And you gotta glide down and all this crap. They really should have changed the way that you done that for this particular thing. Okay. There's a quest right here. Let's just go here. Go there, pick up this quest, and then we'll head on and try to get closer to the other thing. I don't think I'm going to finish most of that right now because I am getting pretty tired. So uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. Bless you. Good day, Outlander. I don't need a chaplain telling me what battles are. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The Outlander that took down the bulwark. You bested Regala. Killed her champion, Greta, too. Both of them were our clan. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which... Means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? All right. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. I had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. <laughs> so you're a chaplain, like Decca. You've met Decca? Her blades were something to behold back when I still had a squad. Now, just like she counsels the Lowlanders, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> You're not upset, I thought, Regala? The Desert respects strength. Why shouldn't I do the same? Wouldn't expect any followers she has left to follow suit, though. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. Uh... I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. 
May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that. Y'all give me a minute. I've got to check into something. CG, are you here? Outlander, will you trade with the Tanakh? Today. All right, I'll come back to here. Uh, there's a campfire there. We have been up here, so I can, I can come back there or I can just go through don't matter I'll just uh going down I'm oh you know what I thought that this was a an outpost of enemies. Okay. Machines weak against frost. <coughs> okay, so that's why I didn't go this way before. They're all apex. Shelter. Chance to rest. Check my gear. All right. Once I get to where I'm going this time, I think I'm going to cut off for the night. I am getting really sleepy. Um. I'm just hoping that this thing will boot back up again for me tomorrow or whenever I'm on.
Level 30. All right. We're going to have to use these. I don't understand why it's doing that, but Okay. Bad. Something has been weird. You and Nameless and Miss Emmy, maybe CG, are the only people that are getting messages from me on Facebook. I've messaged my mom a lot. I've messaged several other people. Never get anything from them. And it's like they don't see it and all this stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? But it, I can send you messages anytime. I don't understand that. Shock ammo. You see, it... I don't know why it's doing that. Uh oh. That's got to be scavenger something. You know what? Subway sounds really good. In trouble. Nora, hey, over here. You, Nora. That Nora's fighting you the charger. Can you with these chargers? That doesn't mean you can stop fighting them. Hit that one, Kitaka. Hit your target. 
take your time. Fire discipline, Hatakto. That's the last of the chargers. Let's find out what those Tanakh they're doing here. And you know, it's so weird how that works because sometimes I will try to message Nameless and I won't get anything from her and she will start texting me and be like, why aren't you talking to me? I mean, mad as hell at me. And I've been talking to hey, her the whole darn time. You end up in trouble with those chargers. You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, this must be the Nora who defeated Regala at the Grove. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to knock. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the grove, Nora. If Regala's broken her duty, then why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. And orders are we say you to Okay. There was a bunch of enemies up here. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll get to that campfire. I will attempt. I can actually, from that campfire, I'm probably just going to travel to that one. I don't know. I'm trying to discover stuff. So where did all of that stuff go that was over here? That's so weird. There were some big machines over here. Bad, can you give me an uptime? I'm trying to make it to four hours. I just don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I am tired. Oh, I'm sorry. Little Caesars is awesome. A lot of people hate Little Caesars. I love them. <laughs> A lot of people around here uh, are very particular about which pizza companies they like. But dude, I like pizza. I don't, just about don't care where it comes from. I like pizza. <laughs> mm. Rebels. I heard they were in the area. Best way to get rid of them is to take out their leader.
See him back there. There's another one right there as well. I shot through her? I shot through her and into his head. Okay. Where? All right. This outpost won't be causing any more trouble. Tags. I've seen Smog soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. So, Bad, have you seen anything about this new game, Babylon, or whatever? Do you know what it is? I've seen it was released today, but I have no clue what it was. 
Find this in my stash later. Okay. If y'all are wondering why I'm not on a mount very much, there is a reason. I run in. Plasma's wasted against that machine. I run into so many enemies when I'm on my mount. be dangerous if I could actually hit something. That poor Chuck Walla. With my words. This is where Zoe said we'd find the Grimhorns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. I should let her know I'm here. Okay. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. This should also give me uh, control over what I need. 
the roots that bind. Uh... Me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. There. The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. Hold on. What is this bad? Okay. No, I'm not talking about that bad. Um uh, that's not what I was shaking my head about. Just so you know, I'm. Thank you very much. Frost would do a lot of damage. It's fine, bad. Oh, absolutely. That was the last machine. We did it. Let's press on. You okay? A bit winded, but I'll be all right. I'll grab the course. Be my guest. 
So I used those, I blew those up to take them out. That was cool. That's one. But we should take a second control core just to be safe. Got it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There should be This is coming with me. There it is. So we blew up that other thing. And it it literally blew all of that stuff up. So that was really cool. No, bad. There are just some people that don't get when you try to not talk to them when you block them on every account they make and then they make another account well, why aren't you talking to me I, I couldn't find your account anymore really hmm You know, I'm It takes a lot for me to block somebody But sometimes Sometimes certain people just need to be blocked And it doesn't matter how many times I block them. It's like they don't get that I have blocked them and I don't want to talk to them. Even after telling them to leave me alone. You know... Where is she at? Aloy. Here, I'll take the cores. Who said you can have the cores? Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. Hey. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade a pouch or two, maybe. I need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime. yet to fight a Thunderjaw, so y'all know. I don't want to get into fighting Thunderjaw shit. Wait a minute, before I get in this water...
I know where I should go. Oh man. Okay. When I find another uh camp through here or whatever. Is that a roller? Yes, let's go get it. Oh, I didn't mean to actually use that arrow. My squad made me tough. See, I need something from one of these guys. That was it, too. I got it. You've got to help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Patea and I were heading south with supplies from Salt Bite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you! I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. I'll work on whatever this is uh, later, but I'm going to try to find something along the path here. Uh, and then I want to go diving. We'll probably end after I go diving. Actually, here we go right here. Oh my gosh. Could try using acid ammo. I gotta be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. I hate them things. Okay. Because there's a campfire up this direction. <laughs> I couldn't get it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're looking for me. What is it? There's something up here. We're about to level up. I don't know what it is. Level 31. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Is that another roller back? Okay. All right, we got a problem. Those guys are no joke. So the rollerbacks oh, funny use for you. Got him. I need to get up here and loot this guy. Looks like Tanoth rebels have taken over these ruins. What are they doing here?
I hear a duck quacking. All right. We're going to attempt to get back up to our campfire, and then I want to go for a swim. I just got to figure out where it was. All right. First, we're going to manual save. Oh, man. And then let's fast travel. Now, I know uh, there. well, there's a place there. It would be nice to be able to go on and get that one. But over here, when I first come in, I don't know where it's at. It's a black box. It's all I know is a black box. Um, nerve. Okay. It's where you, okay, you know when you go to the cave where Silence had Hades in the big eyeball thing? I need to find that, and I don't know where that's at. Do you know where it's at, Bad? It... It should be close to this, I think. There's a huge lake. This is it down there. I know where that flight recorder is if I need it. The locator shows there's another aircraft recording here. Should be able to pry it open. I didn't see this before. This is Transport 95 Yankee. We are switching to the new bearing and we'll down there in the city. No, it, it can't be. Projections put them 200 miles out. Well, they're here now. Quickly bring us around them. We have to. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they paid the price. What the heck is that? I use Purgewater ammo to my advantage. There's another locator beacon on the same frequency. Alright, it I believe that the black box is out this way. But I really don't know. I mean, okay. What is that? Oh, my God, is that a thunder jaw over there? What is he doing here?
This guy was not here before. Calling. He is a level 48. Oh my gosh. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanakas hold up in that cave. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spear at my side. I'll do what I can. All right, let's go do this. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? Thanks. You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a cloth strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to Nock, but offered to Utaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. I have a feeling 
He could whip her butt. <laughs> what do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route. When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Please let me say, meet me there. Alright. So what I want... Is gonna be out here. I believe. Gonna be out here. Uh the ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is that's not your problem, farmer. All right, hold on. Say. Stop saying that. Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. Oh. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. So there are things here now that I'll have to contend with that were not here earlier. slow pokes we're here the entrance should be right under that arc I'll dry off eventually Locked. Not getting in that way. Let's check around the side.
That's the last of them. I had that. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> Aren't I lucky? You know, if this is too much for your old bones, you can always head back. You should be more worried about that left arm than my old bones. I'll be fine. I'm Sakura of Eagle Squad. I feel no pain. <laughs> Ow! What is wrong with you? Where are they? Now that was a fight. Reminds me of my younger squad years. You mean before you be- I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? <laughs> oh, I like I'll grab the supplies. Come, let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. <laughs> okay. Oh. Run away into the ruins. There's a rope ladder. Looks like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. You know, I have to say, the accessibility options in this game are amazing. Uh, they have literally saved my thumbs. Pushing in these sticks is very painful to me. Uh, I don't like to do it to have to run, but I actually prefer pushing them in on this game to run because otherwise you just don't move okay. properly. The cash should be at the top of the tower, but how to get up there? Finds from a metal flower. It doesn't look like it's blocking the way up, though. I don't know how to go about getting in there.
All right. There's obviously something I'm missing here. Um, maybe, yeah, that's what, it, okay. Frost ammo's not gonna do much. Well, they're just sitting there in it. Big butt up to me. <laughs> Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Better keep looking. So that display. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I got... Get in there and take down those machines. Oh, not happy to see me? I better check on Jax and Sakura. First, I better check on my loot. Heck with them.
Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. It was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Hmm. Let's go get that black box and then I'm going to finish there for the day. Uh, Refreshing. Missing these moments. Be welcome, Albert. Green, Sam. Some highly skilled craftsmen living in some kind of paradise. Red hair's on the stick. She's the one that gave those bristlebacks a run for their shards. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? See Is that a mouse trap? A tray! Who it's are a you? mouse trap. You shove it. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? So it looks like a hard drive. Oh. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? No. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard drive. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept. At least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, 
Well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas. The first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I, I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. Ha! Mm. <laughs> Not a chance, unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. Okay. I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this mobile cover system. I want to take this thing down. My miles are easy now. Let's say see ya. I didn't realize that uh that one was even there. I was literally looking over here and there was nothing here. And well there was one here and that was it. And then boom, there's another one. Can't be the supplies the core wanted. Okay, something's wrong here because there was a... There was actually a black box in this lake and you had to dive down to get it. 
and I know that it was here. I don't know. Uh, it was underground there. Maybe we won't do it today. I'll just have to figure it out. Did you pre-order that? How am I supposed to tell them? If it was just a single player game offline, plain and simple. I might play it. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but... What about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in plain song. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura. I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong. And no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They would be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. Okay. Got eight more skill points. Uh... There was a skill... That leaves me three. I'm not sure what I want to purchase on these, but I'm thinking... This one is already done. Um...
All right, what I want to do is just get that and then get that one, so uh, that'll work. Okay, I got a new face paint. Okay. Wait a minute. Could it be this lake? Instead of this lake. I bet you that's what it is. Let's head this way. I think I went the wrong direction. I didn't realize there was actually one right there. Quick save, fast travel back over here. This is it, absolutely. Because it was up under that, so yes. Now we gotta be careful because there are enemies that patrol this area, but I don't know. I don't know exactly where they're at. Maybe that'll be it. Uh, it's more out that way. trying to go that way anyway. I scanned an Apex machine. Using short ammo.
leap lashers now. But how to catch one? You old butthead! Take this! First one I've seen that I could not damage with that bow. Maybe it was because he was an apex. Why is my bow not One didn't seem to have a problem. That was the apex as well, though. All right, that's what it was. They were apex, he wasn't. We're still not anywhere near it. How far out is this thing? Look out there, it's a snap mall. So I want to be careful, but
hell is that? The locator shows there's another recording in there. So there was another creature out here that I had never seen. needs to be a way for us to fight underwater. I haven't even played it. detected another field recorder. So I picked up a new uh, machine. But I don't know what it was. It was some sort of burrower, I think, but...
Okay, so we got uh, we got that black box. Uh. Fire right here. So I need to go turn in two things. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that'll give us 876, so let's sell those, and quick save, and so, we need to go to Baron Light. Which is here? Oh gosh, okay. Yeah. And then we need to go, I don't know where the other place is. It's where the, the grandma is. what I think it is now you've got all your lenses my pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers but he'd be happy these lenses were spared many thanks to you Aloy oh here what I owe you now this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us so what are you gonna do next I'm taking these back to the claim Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> no promises. Good luck, Aloy. All right. Dune Shadow Die Unlock. She gave me 15 metal shards, and that was it. That was it. All right, so the uh, not plain song, not scalding spear. Uh oh! Whoa! Okay. Okay. I don't know where to go to turn that in.
All right. I know, I know where to, I know I've already been there bad. I just don't remember where it is that I have to turn them in at. I know which place it is. Uh, it's not plain song. Uh, it was more towards the south. It's where they had the the whole uh, coda or whatever it was called. Yeah, it's there. I don't have any other thing west here. That's the thing. Okay, the bulwark. There it is. The mall of the arena. That's it. So that's it okay yeah I couldn't find it that I knew where it was what it was I just didn't know where it was actually at on the map that spear is a weapon of real strength Trade, maybe. Free passage over the borders. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. Natika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentuck to rest, and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. I thought she was cool. The visions will guide us. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. Can I ask you something? Of course. Okay. I've brought you more of the voices you're collecting. Another chance to learn about this lost war. So we should have two things that we can do now. Uh... just going to buy two things that don't matter what they are i'm assuming that you'll actually have a bunch of these things pop up there is so much or that you can get one of everything every voice you bring helps me to understand more did the delver say anything about where to find the recordings only that she found them in ancient flying machines and that they were sending out some sort of signal there is a locator signal from the recording. I can detect it with my relic. That should help me find any more voices that are out there. What will you do with the recordings? Well, I'll have to speak to my superiors and see if we can make space for them. They aren't from the Ten, but the voices of all warriors must be heard and remembered. There are more of these voices popping up on the locator frequency. I'll find them. I wish I could recover them myself. I am grateful that you can. I'll let you know if I find more voices. Okay. We're going to go out here and save, and then... 
I will be done here for tonight. Uh, I done got really sleepy, so. I still have to archive the stream, and then, then I can go to bed. Be guided by the ten. All right. We will try, or I will try to come on tomorrow and maybe finish the next uh, big mission, uh, Demeter, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know how much is left of the story after that, but I do plan to at least try to finish that in the next stream that we do with this so most likely on monday i will be playing call of the wild uh i don't know but then on on uh tuesday we'll get back to this if i can't get back to it before then i've got the whole weekend so i don't think i have anything to do this weekend so uh i can probably stream all i want Anyway, I do want to try to finish this game very soon, and we'll see what else we can get into at that point. I'm going to start doing stuff to where I just go straight through the story, because I feel like a lot of people don't like to, to watch all the side quests and stuff, and they just mainly want to see the story anyway. And that way I can do some stuff off stream, and then I can just do the story on stream. That's kind of what I've been wanting to do, but I just really wanted to play this in its entirety, but it's just too big to do so and to do other streams as well. So anyway, uh, just letting y'all know what's up with that. But I will see y'all next time. Y'all have a great night. And if I am not on again until Monday, then y'all have a great weekend as well. I'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm.